Good morning, everybody. I hope you all are doing fine, and you are staying inside the house. So let's start with our next session with Science Two, Chapter One. If you remember, last time we had studied about protein synthesis, how proteins are formed inside our body by help of DNA and RNA. Now, next part of the chapter is evidences of evolution. So, what do you understand by evidence? Evidence means proof. now there are various theories put forth about how the organisms have developed how the organisms are found on the earth one of them is about evolution evolution means one organism evolved to form some other organism so here there are proofs given for this theory of evolution that organisms have developed over the ages as the climate of the earth changed the organisms also showed some changes in previous classes you studied about adaptations in different animals and plants so same way here by adapting according to the changing condition on the earth the animals as well as plants have slowly evolved and to prove this theory we need so to uh, prove this theory correct we need some ev uh, uh, some evidences or some proofs so here we have we want to study some 5 to 6 proofs or evidences which shows that organisms have evolved they have grown they have changed they have developed into another organism so first out of all the evidences is morphological evidence so what do you understand by morphology morphology means simple study of external characteristics study how the organism appears physical features of the organism is called as morphology so morphological evidences means the proofs that show that organisms are related or they have been evolved developed from one common ancestor for proving the morphological evidences we can compare the pictures given in your textbook you can see uh, the face of puppy wolf and sheep are given if you compare the three animals you will see plenty of similarities like placement of their eyes the shape of their ears the shape of their snout or the nose how it is uh, pointed forward same way all the three organisms though they have different mode of eating but all the three show same kind of external features like the body hair to which we call fur all the three animals have body hairs then the shape of nose or snout as well as the position of eyes and ears so these all show that maybe these organisms have evolved from one common ancestor same way you can see in your textbook the uh, picture of plants different plants i think mango chikku and one more plant is shown so here also though these plants have different characteristics though they bear different types of fruits but still they have similarities in the leaf structure or the growth pattern is also same in them so here we can say that these organisms are related or they have evolved from a common ancestor so this was first that is morphological evidence the next is anatomical evidence anatomy is exactly opposite of morphology it is internal structure study of internal organs is basically termed as anatomy so in the picture in your book if you can see the textbook you will see uh, bones of different animals are shown i think it's a uh, flipper of whale human hand bull's leg and one more i don't have the textbook with me right now but you can compare in the textbook when you are watching the video so if you see the structure of bone whale is completely different than human hand human hand is completely different from the bull's leg or bat's wing they all have different functions but if you study or if you try to check out the similarities you will see the similarities in their bone structure they have one bone then again they have two bones and then for their a uh, hand or for the four fingers and all there are again plenty of bones like we have in us so though these animals are different the organs are different their functions are different but internally they show similarities in their characteristic so that is called as anatomical evidence okay so we have studied two that is morphological and anatomical evidences next period we'll go with uh, vestigial organ as well as embryology so friends keep studying as well as i'm posting some homework make sure you do it on time thank you